Hey guys, it's Cal. Uh, so in this video, uh, it's just a couple of games of uh, me playing with barbed wire. You know, like the newly reworked barbed wire. Uh, those of you that are familiar with me know that you know I'm quite a big fan of barbed wire. I, I really like it, and I wish more people would use it. Although I kind of don't, because it is really annoying when I use it, and I can imagine it is annoying for people. So I'm kind of happy people don't use it that much. But like... Definitely, I'm a huge, huge fan of this, uh, of the barbed wire rework. It, uh, definitely having two charges as I die there from bleed. <laughs> what the sh- Oh, bleed. I was like, well, what shot me? Uh, definitely having two charges is really, really, uh, helps barbed wire's, uh, usability. Live, silent, live. Uh, cause oh, definitely no. previously, like, just having one charge was still nice. But every time you redeployed it, it just like, you know, broke the old one. It was kind of, not pointless, but it definitely wasn't as good as it could be. Yes. So definitely having these two charges really, really ups its overall usability. And uh, I'm a big fan. I think these couple games uh, really highlight how you can really block off some choke points. And really, uh, you know, it really has the potential to restrict uh, the opponent's uh, movement options. Like, it only sort of potentially restricts their movement options because they can't go through the barbed wire, but they'll have to either burn, um, they'll have to burn their roll, or they'll have to, uh, they'll have to take damage. Either of which is not super optimal unless they're playing, like, Saloy or something, which Saloy is definitely a really good, uh, counter to barbed wire. Uh, cause he has the, uh, he has the increased, oh, uh, he has the double dash. So it really allows him to uh, sort of bypass barbed wire quite easily, honestly. Jesus God! I'm about to die from bleed. Oh, you hate to see it. <laughs> um, so something that I've just you know just from playing barbed wire, you know, before pre and post update, nice. obviously. Uh, Historically, at least for me personally, I've always had issues trying to get the barbed wire to work in a non-control setting. Obviously, in a control setting where people have to rush the point, uh, like a specified point, it's going to be way, way better. Obviously. I have had moderate success regarding uh, barbed wire usage in like a bag match. It's still difficult. Because, uh, generally speaking, I feel like back maps are just, like, way, 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 way more open. So, like, the avenues, like, the choke points aren't as, like, restrictive. Oh, uh, but definitely this is a good example, this B point on the station control. Definitely, definitely a good, uh, example once we actually begin to lock it down. Come on, guys. Which should be shortly. If I remember correctly. Nice, I guess. Oh no, I think we end up getting A. I don't remember this gameplay actually. Yeah, no, we get it. I remember now. You see, like that previous barbed wire got popped. <laughs> Who plays Moses for a straight brother? But, uh,. You know, no, no worries. Look how fast the recharge time is. And I'm not even playing them on Spencer, which, you know, Spencer's, like, T6 was supposed to be, like, an increased barbed wire. But look how fast that went through again. Like, it's almost not needed, like Spencer's talent, arguably. But you see, basically, there are only two entries now, aside from going through the barbed wires. It is the far right or the far left flank. Unless they want to go through the barbed wire, of course. Which is always an option. But if you're banking on, let's say you're like a, a very common shotgun player. You know, most people might play like Moses or Miro shotgun. Uh, you only have one roll for the most part. So you're going to waste the roll just bypassing uh, the barbed wire. And I'll gladly take your roll, essentially. Uh, 
Uh, that was a that was a good first game, just demonstrating the barbed wire. A little nine four five. So the second game is still on station control. However, it's on the defending side. And uh, I think, honestly, like, I, I feel like barbed wire works better after I'm um, getting flashed to death, bro. Oh, my oh, goodness. I'm surprised I didn't die from any bleeding there. That was insane. I can't believe how many flashes were right, thrown at I me. got assaulted. My eyes got absolutely assaulted by flash just then. And they still didn't kill me. Bunch of rats. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, I feel like I feel like barbed wire works better in scenarios where, let's say, you're the attacking team, and then you can action, and then once you capture the point, you then you then close off the avenues of entry. For the team. I think it's way better here because, like, look at all the entry points for the attackers. Like, there's there's so many entry points. Unless we really want to push like crazy up, as you see like on, on the right over there, or the mid, where I just kind of blocked off a pretty oh, where? Where am I getting significant flashed, uh, entry point bro, to be. Please. But, uh, I don't know. I learned that <laughs> when, during the game, I learned that barbed wire, look how far barbed wire extends, bro. Like, I shut off that whole freaking um, mid path for them. That's crazy. And yeah, with, uh, I know with, like, some people say, like, I know, I know Prod has mentioned how with the pollen, uh, barbed wire, like, <laughs> the rework to barbed wire is kind of strange because, okay, a pollen can literally just jump over barbed wire. Like, it's really kind of pointless. I mean, yeah, but. Ideally, not everyone's going to play a pollen, or not everyone has a pollen, so there's still going to be a fair amount of grounded enemies. But it does bring up a, a very valid point, and I'm sure a lot of you were thinking of it as well. But overall, for like defensive fortifications and just they, uh, holding down oh, a region, okay. I, I don't think I don't think barbed wire can really be uh, beat that. I don't think it can be beat. <laughs> Bro, I got double smart bombed. <laughs> One smart bomb is is already something, but like, you ever get chased down by two smart bombs? Like that that's such a that's such a an f u from the game's AI. Like, I'm already being targeted by one. Why am I? Of all the people they chose to target, I was also targeted by another freaking smart bomb. Don't be silent. <laughs> no, silent. Damn, they got B, what the heck? Bro, that's a that's a third smart bomb user, I think. The Shrone smart bomb. What's that a Shrone? I think. You saw that? So he was he was fully ready to just push straight through uh, onto us. But I put the barbed wire there, and because uh, I assume he didn't want to burn his. No! Bro, the, the fucking random, why did you kill him? What the hell? I stopped shooting because I thought he'd die. <laughs> he didn't want to burn his uh, roll, or something, I don't know. So he had to divert, which bought us some extra time, and that got us. Oh, thank you, Random. Uh, oh, yes, that's actually very impressive that that happened. Hilarious. Two down. Don't remember if I've mentioned this already or not, but uh, definitely, definitely 
in situations where you're retaking a point, uh, barbed wire is definitely not as useful, I would definitely say. I don't remember if we get to this point back. Uh, I think we do. I think we do. I just don't remember. You saw how Dark got stuck in the uh, barbed wire. And ultimately, in terms of this game, I'm not sure how much of a difference that made, but it definitely slowed him down. And put him Definitely, like, uh, chunked a, uh, a good amount of damage enough to uh, help a teammate secure the kill. So, I don't know. Barbed wire has its uses. I don't think it's as useless as people say, although it's definitely a lot more useless now because of Apollon. But, you know, I still, I'm still very firmly saying, try it out if you can. You know, I like it. I think you will too. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to hit the bell icon to be notified of all of my future uploads or whenever I go live on YouTube. Uh, I'll see you guys for the live stream. See ya.